Newswatch 16's Jeremy Lawan loves jazz and he recently got his groove on at the Scranton Jazz Fest and this newest installment of Jeremy's Journeys. Welcome to Jeremy's Journeys, a brand new segment here on WNEP where I share with you some of my experiences and adventures, sometimes with my mom trying out new things that are exclusive to our community. And this weekend, we're at the Scranton Jazz Festival in Lackawanna County. The streets of Scranton were filled with jazz for a weekend in August, as nearly 100 artists converged upon the many eateries and open spaces within the Electric City. Being so close in Scranton, instead of going into New York City or even to Allentown, it's such a gift to have a festival, a three-day festival in Scranton, that's just phenomenal. And it speaks to the open-mindedness of the area. With roots in blues and ragtime, jazz emerged from the African-American communities of New Orleans during the turn of the 20th century and came into its own in the 1920s. Some of the most famous jazz artists include Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald, and Billie Holiday. Although perhaps not as widely known, the artists performing in downtown Scranton were undoubtedly just as talented. Over the years, jazz has morphed into several sub-genres, including smooth jazz, jazz rock, and Latin jazz, all of which were represented and performed here in Scranton. In, in the jazz festival, there's various bands. There's Latin fusion, there's, there's New Age, there's the Indigo Moon Brass Band. They're like a New Orleans-style Zydeco kind of band. So you get kind of whatever, whatever you're looking for, there's a band for every single person here at the Scranton Jazz Fest. And I just love jazz because it flows, it's so, it, it's, it has rhythm, it has, it just takes you somewhere that you never know where it's gonna go. Kinda like life. Peter Lynn West isn't the only one who has a love for jazz. My mom has been captivated by the rhythm and flow of jazz for many years. I've been listening to jazz ever since I was a little girl, and my mother gave me an appreciation for jazz. That appreciation grew, and I passed that on to you. You were listening to jazz from when you were in my womb. We used to go to jazz concerts over in New York City, open air jazz concerts, listen to contemporary jazz, classic jazz, Brazilian jazz, uh, Afrofusion jazz, an appreciation for all kinds of jazz. And I appreciated jazz so much thanks to my mom that I took up playing the saxophone from a young age, belting out the tunes in my school's orchestra band, and of course, jazz band. But what really makes the Scranton Jazz Festival special is... It's free. It's free to the public, and that's kind of amazing that we can keep that live free music happening mm -hmm. for a weekend like this in our area. Mom and I jumped around from jazz brunches to sets at cafes to even a concert by 10-time Grammy Award-winning a cappella group, Take Six. And for us to experience it together as a mother-son duo, like when we were little and I used to take you in the baby carriage to listen to jazz uh, in New York. Yeah, it was, it's been a great weekend. Grooving in Lackawanna County, this is Jeremy Luan for Newswatch 16.